today we're over at Josh's house. We got Zach. A lot of you probably know Zach on the channel. We have his super clean 17 STI. We are going to be doing a uh, stage two tune on today. Zach, you want to tell them what kind of mods you just did this thing? Uh, so I put a IAG ALS in. Yep. Uh, we got a Grim Speed Boost Controller. TGV actually took a shit on the passenger side, so I did the um, Torque Solutions uh, TGV lens, and then we got a turbo inlet, and then a short ramp intake. Very nice. Yeah. So we have a nice Cobb turbo inlet there. You can see we have our Cobb intake out because we are going through and boost leak testing the car and smoke testing it. We are going to be compression testing it. Just doing our normal pre-tune inspection here. Make sure the car is 100% healthy. This car is pretty low miles. It only has 13,000 miles on it. So I, without a doubt, don't believe there's gonna be any issues with this thing. So we're just going over that right now. We were just missing the clamp on his bypass hose, which no big deal. We're just throwing that on. And then from there, we should be able to get going on this thing. We sent Zach over a nice base map. He came all the way over from the west side over Seattle area over. And this thing's been driving good. So we're just gonna go ahead and finish up the tune today and make this thing make some power. I just know he's pretty excited to feel this thing when it's all done. See all his hard work. This is the first time he's ever had to dive into one of these, and he did a real good job at putting it back together. So we'll see how much power she makes today. A little update as we're going through here. We did get all of our intake system back together now after doing that boost leak test and smoke test. We did find a couple leaks on the intake system, and we got that all buttoned up, taken care of. We do have that clamp on the blow-off out there. And this is why this is such an important step of tuning guys and doing a pre-tune inspection. This is why we require them is just going over the car, making sure it's 100% safe for when we start tuning the car and making sure that, you know, we can keep this thing living as long as we can. And we did find that the boosting tutorial lines, a simple mistake, were switched backwards. With that, obviously, we would want to the moon on boost. So I'm glad that we just take a look at it and make sure that it's right. That way we don't even have that scenario when we first start tuning obviously we have a boost cut that would have helped take care of that but better just to do it now so he's correcting that right now and once that's finished up we will be able to start going through it start tuning this car i did get our wide band set up into the car so we're all ready to go i'm going to start getting the map all set up on this thing while he's buttoning that up and then we will be getting going on this so here we are out in zach's car i'm just flashing another map to it right now everything's going great and it is staying pretty cool out thankfully we got a little bit late start today but we're enjoying the nice scenery here as obviously we reflash the scene cannot wait to show zach the results i do believe he's gonna be super happy with the same all he's had is the same just stock and he did have a cob ots map on the same at first then obviously when he did the parts i sent him over a base map got him taken care of he drove over here and i'm really excited to see you know his reaction i'm going to show you guys that i am recording on my phone today because i forgot my gopro so seems like that seems to be the thing i do lately um now the one thing i wish he would have done on this car and i'm going to tell you guys if you are doing the same job is i definitely would 100 recommend doing an upgraded fuel system because this thing, even being stage two, we're gonna max out the fuel system in the car. I'm gonna have to hold back on the car and we max out our factory STI injectors and fuel pump. So a fuel pump would have helped us a little bit, but in the end, it should have got a set of torque solution, fuel rails, line kit, an air motive regulator, uh, a set of ID 1050X injectors, unless he planned on going bigger later, then I would probably push him to, you know, an ID 1300 if he was gonna do E85 and an upgraded turbo later on, just so he has some room to grow. Um, an AEM 340 fuel pump would have been great for this thing and that fuel system there with the stock turbo setup it would have been great uh, he does have an external wastegate up pipe he just didn't get a wastegate in time so he didn't add that on the car uh, it still does have a factory exhaust on the car so I do believe obviously that's going to hold us back a little bit not too much at this power since we're not really pushing the car so say um, but in the end he has some room to grow and some things to do he now knows how to work on the car Everything I see on the car has been working great. So super happy with that. And it does seem to be responding very well. So I will do a virtual dyno at the end here, see what it made for you guys. And right now I have the car currently on 18 pounds. I'm gonna see where our injector duty cycle ends up being. I might have to pull it down a little bit more and or you know, timing wise, we'll get it to where it's happy. He 
wants this to be his daily driver. Um, it wasn't his daily driver, but it is now due to some circumstances. He wants to sell his other car and buy his girlfriend or wife. I don't know what they are. Uh, new car. So this will be end up his daily driver. So the next couple of years, he said he just wants to have something nice, reliable. So we're not going to end up pushing this thing completely for power today. And obviously we're going to be held back anyways with our fuel system, but we can at least get this thing to be a nice, fun daily driver for him. So let me get back to this and I will update you guys when we're finishing up. Well, we are back. We blew her up. Who? <laughs> What's going on? No, we didn't blow her up. But this guy left us all the way on E, so he needs to go get some gas. Oh, man, sorry. So I had to stop there just to show you guys where we currently are at with this thing before he even knows. That's where we're at. We're pretty much getting right to where we need to be. I expected it to be right around that range. And we are going to get some more gas in this thing because it's on gas light right now. So I just want to put more gas in it, make sure everything looks good. And from there, we will go ahead and continue. This one, don't mind this. This is the road right there. kind of went down. So this will be more accurate as the other ones, which I just took away somehow. All right. Well, once I figure out how to fix that, I'll let you know. We're on to the next day, all finished up. Are you excited or what? Uh, really excited. Really, so, really excited. For the numbers, guys, on this one, it made 304 and 314 on his hotter map. I went ahead and turned the car down because, like you guys have heard, he wants this thing to be nice and reliable for a long time. We are held back with our fuel system in here being still stock injectors and stock fuel pump. Uh, the car made 281 and 300 foot pounds. That was on about 16 and a half to 17 pounds of boost, tapering up on Redline down to about 10 to 12 pounds up by Redline. So kept it super safe, added timing up there. Um, this thing will definitely live for a long time at that. And we can do some bigger injectors and a fuel system later on, right? Oh yeah, no, we're, and we're, we're ready. rotated. Yeah. Give, give, give me a I'm trying to get him rotated stock motor. Oh no, no, no. Come on. No, we can, we can. We can party. A, we're gonna be having a, a long block, short block setup on the old cherry <laughs> picker there. Getting it set up just in case you get too heavy on the gas there. But uh, give me some time, I'll save up some more coin and save up some more uh, products and uh, we'll see what we can do. Hopefully we yeah. get like 580, maybe 600 if we're, you know. Sounds like a party. E85, hopefully. Oh, know, yeah. Definitely. So. Well, you ready to fire this thing up? Let it warm up. We'll do a cold start for the boys. Of, I got a couple packages to take Yeah, back. look at these. These guys are going to be jealous. I'm going to be sitting. We got the new stickers coming out, guys. You know, I thought about putting it on the, the oh, door geez. handle, but oh, you know, gosh. He, he told me taillight. Who does taillights? No. Wow, just well, out me. Yeah, no, we're going to maybe right there. Let's see if trimmed up a little more. <laughs> All right, funny oh, guy. There we go, right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ooh. on the shark fin. Woo! West Coast status. Start yeah. this cold start. All right. For the boys. It's not, it, this is not going to be a cold start, folks. It's like 115 out here. <laughs> it's not much. Hey, do you guys hear anything? No wind when I come over. As it picks up right now. <laughs> God, I love it. Fires grow up. We're gonna go for this test drive at least. We gotta go for them. Go They're for gonna yell at me if yeah, we don't. We All right, we're gonna let the same warm up. We're gonna go out to Mexico. We're gonna get his reaction of how to drive the same. It should be good. Yeah, All right, yeah. otherwise you guys will be let down. So, yeah, no, this moment. Oh, just adding all the weight. You're taking away from the reaction oh, no, no, for no, the no. boys. This ain't no weight. This is just, Look at that. This is luggage. Just packing this thing full. Oh, come on now, it's a pair of shoes. Yeah. You know, wallet, charger. You, know, you got to put it under the load. You want to put Oh, look at Here comes more, though. <laughs> what is that, bud? That, that, I don't know. That's from that's Sergio. Hodgie, that's, Hodgie Sergio. Boy that. that's from Sergio. Well, yeah. well, like I said, guys, it's about 2 million degrees out here. So we're probably not going to go out and do a million poles, but we're going to go out and get his reaction for you because if we don't, you guys will be freaking tearing me up in the comments. So, look, you can't even shut the damn trunk. Come on, rookie. I don't know what you got. Something happened. What happened here? Huh? Did you tell me get there? They're really robbing the power away. What man? happened to this? Why is this all dark now? I dimmed the lights over oh, there, bud. Oh, jeez. Yeah, getting this AC on and everything. Look at that. Whoa, yeah. I'm yeah. from Seattle, man. This is pretty hot for me. Oh, 
Oh, geez, now we got that thing all the power down. Look at this, guys. It's 94 degrees. Yeah. Woo! We usually just keep it on the lowest setting once yeah, I get going. Turn hey. it on. Yeah, turn it on. We're dying in here. Josh is back there freaking. Uh, I'm, not, I'm at 63. I'm feeling, I'm feeling fine. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, you don't want to blow up your power. Now, if you guys are hearing the damn AC, I'm sorry. So it's the wind. Spokane's got the worst wind, I swear. Genie. He's just on you know, this. Just, it's like a turbo. <laughs> just keeps going. Just keeps spinning. Getting out here, I just think it's around 80 million degrees in here. So we're gonna get out here into Mexico. You guys can see. I've never reaction. been to Mexico. I'm pretty actually no? pretty excited. We no. got the shirt on just for it for our boys over there. Oh man, yeah. So, yeah. Let's go. Can't get into it yet. <laughs> what are you doing over here, guy? You're trying to get into it before we even get out. I'm trying to take the reaction away. They don't cross the border yet. I got my passport. Well, hope you're ready because they're gonna, gonna have it right at the gate here. They're gonna go gate. left at the gate. Wherever this car's coming out right here. Yeah, that Mexican car. Oh boy. What do you think, guy? It's pretty nice. You're just tipping into it here. Woo! It was good. Smooth. It's just nice. It's running. It was a very hard uh, step in my life to uh, take this apart. And you guys over the phone always kind of help me get this across and uh, doing stuff over the phone is probably one of the hardest things and just I had to do a lot of reading and just learning very quickly to come anywhere near to even talking to you guys and I'm still always going to be learning which is pretty Good. awesome to do so well, it's definitely a fun fun sport but it, it does get expensive and I just want to I just want to have all the parts before I get into it and start tackling because that's it's yeah. not that it's not the cool way is just responsible and you gotta live life and you gotta maintain good relationships and uh, it's hard on them so uh, yeah. I just want to make sure I keep a good running car and just I'm ready for more power you know I haven't really got into Always. it but it's just it's so hot out I don't even want to really hit the car that hard right. but we'll tip into it here for you guys it'll be the one and only for you right oh. yeah. Don't know. 
we had a huge fire wildfire come up and I mean it was within a couple miles of the house and we were watching pretty closely yesterday thankfully it went the other direction unthankfully for all the people that had to evacuate you know obviously they're probably going through a ton right now but pretty thankful it didn't hit us and we are still able to be out here and enjoy our countryside that you guys see in Mexico right He's ready. He's trying hey, to freaking. Just, just, he's just, trying to kill us. Well, I know, now I know the road a little bit. We're gonna do a mirror image, but backwards. So we got Jr. Jr. here right now. now we're freaking just, we're 110 both, degrees, and we're let's just, just do back back pulls. Well, you know that's what happens. You gotta test the tune. Oh, you gotta test so the tune. So he blames me when no, this shit no, grenades. No, 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 <laughs> no, I'm granny shifting now. Now you push the limit. Now, now, I, now I'm gonna lug the fuck out. Oh of come on. Oh, I swore. Sorry, guys. Look at this hardcore guy here. Yeah, sorry. Well, we'll end this video out when we get back, guys. Hope you're enjoying good old Tweety Bird Killer. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> well, guy, this is going to end it out. You Solid. happy? Oh, yeah. Thank you, sir. Yep. Very much appreciate Frickin your help and uh, awesome channel. And just keep it going. And, uh, Thanks, buddy. All the way up, baby. See? All the way up. It's going to wrap it out, guys. Josh is heading out, leaving us. It's freaking hot as hell. I just gotta go take my damn cat to the vet. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can tell off my baldness here how freaking hot yeah, it is. See. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> it's gonna end it out here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video and Zach's stage two STI. So, till next time, I'll see you guys in another video. Life up in the fast lane. Living life up in the fast lane. Living life up in the fast lane. Living life up in the fast lane. Fast lane. And I ain't slowing down. I ain't slowing down. I ain't slowing down. Living life up in the fast lane. Pedal to the ground. Pedal to the ground. Pedal to the ground. Living life up in the fast lane. Life throw you lemons. You just put them in Coronas. 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 I've been working, working, I need that advance with the bonus, the bonus, the bonus Ain't no thoughts about tomorrow, I'm just living in the moment, the moment, the moment Fool, take a gas and 200 on the dash, bitch, I'm zoning, I'm zoning, I'm zoning Fast lane, living life up in the fast lane Life up in the fast lane. Life up in the fast lane. Fast lane. And I ain't slowing down. I ain't slowing down. I ain't slowing down. Living life up in the fast lane. Pedal to the ground. Pedal to the ground. Pedal to the ground.